Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my show, which is the Empowering Womanhood in UAE with Lashant Girls. Today's guest on my show is a health mentor, a trained classical dancer and an entrepreneur. Let's know more about her and her story and welcome her on my show. Hi Vivia, welcome to my show and I'm so glad that you have uh, you know, been, I've selected you as one of my guests because I'm eagerly waiting to know your story. Yeah, I have to tell you thank you actually <laughs> because what you're doing is just amazing. Actually when you announced this segment, I was, I saw this and I was like wow, it's so great. You're giving a chance, uh, you know, to a lot of women. That is great. What yeah. your initiative is yeah. superb. I'm very much happy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, Basically, that was the whole thing because it actually, the idea completely arose um, among women, you know. Yeah. They came up with this idea, why don't I do something like this? That was the whole point Great. of doing this show. Awesome. So, tell me about yourself, your family, like how long you've been in UAE mm. and where are you from? Everything to my viewers <laughs> and to me as well. Okay, I have been in the UAE from the time I remember. Okay. I'm, a, I'm a Dubai lass. Okay. <laughs> I studied here in Indian high school. Bachelor's from MGU, Master's okay. from SP Jane, and I have been um, assisting my father in his business. Okay. He, he has his own uh, electrical straining business here in Dubai okay. for a very long time from I guess 92 or wow. more than that. Yeah. Okay. So uh, and after that, even God's grace, I got married to a person who was already working here. Very nice. Yes. <laughs> and so now my, I have a son who is six years old and yeah. he's studying in the same school as I did, he's an IHS, yes, he's an IHS. Uh, so along with being with my dad, I cannot brag much about it because 2020 I have not been any help to him. <laughs> so but along with that, uh, I started an online uh, jewelry boutique, Okay. wherein the, the different types of jewelry mm -hmm. uh, and I did get hold of a beautiful brand named Shivloka and wow. that was uh, more into Rudraksha and kind of things. Oh, yes, nice. it was not just aesthetically beautiful, it was also spiritual jewellery mm -hmm. wherein you can feel the difference after actually wearing them. Wow. Yes, so okay. uh, and I used to place it in different locations like you know hotels and spas oh, okay. and resorts and okay. places like that. But yes, the pandemic, the COVID has affected many, yeah. many ways. Uh, so actually at that time uh, and oh, in between, I have to tell I am a trained classical dancer. Yes, like uh, I did an introduction <laughs> already about it. Yeah. Uh, so I've been learning dance from the age of four. Wow. Uh, and I'm still learning. I cannot okay. say I'm the, uh, you know, like I've finished learning. I'm still learning. I'm still exploring. I'm trained uh, for classical dance, okay. uh, mainly the South Indian dances as Bharatanatyam, Mohini Atam, mm -hmm. Kuchipudi, and all that. Uh, and when I was young, I had this deep interest to learn Kathak. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, so, so but I'm, I'm basically trained Kathak. Oh, wow! <laughs> okay, great. So now for my dance uh, collabs, I will be asking you. <laughs> Trust me, I've not done that for a very long time, but I've done it during my school. I, I studied and I uh, got yeah, trained. But, you know, oh, why, why did you leave that? Like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is not an excuse for, especially for dancers. dancers I always I say only for dance, I yeah. say this, you oh. must, you must continue because yeah. those kind of talents everyone wouldn't be having. Okay. You know, th that uh, dancing, singing, drawing, yeah. like yeah. I can't draw. I can't even draw in rainbow, yeah, you know. I'm very bad at drawing. Yeah. So uh, when you have those kind of talents, it should be continuously polished, yeah. you know. So um, then I started now, now I started learning Kathak uh, because of the passion. It's a beautiful art form. So that is there. And for my interest, as I was learning the dance, um, you know, I didn't get many opportunity to perform as such okay. because my master was very strict. Yeah. Uh, I studied under the guidance of Guru Sahadevan. Uh, so he was very strict that it cannot be just performed anywhere. Anyway. Uh -huh. You should okay. perform it. And I understand it. Yeah. You should perform it in front of the audience who understand it and also love, love it. it. Yes. You know, like not just they come sit, they're bored. They're bored. Yeah. yeah. It's boring for the people who do not understand, understand the classical, classical yes, because each uh, hand gesture, each expression has a meaning. Mm -hmm. So if the people who does not understand, they mock, they make fun of it. Right. So he was very much adamant and uh, 
I did not explore in any other dance forms at that time. Though I was, uh, I was really much interested in Bollywood and all the Western dances. But uh, my, my parents also they were restricted to the classical dance. It's fine, no problem. Uh, so, so now what I'm doing is like, so I started a page on FB uh, Divya Shakti uh, just for my interest. You know, I'm not expecting a million viewers or million yeah. subscribers. So this is in Facebook or it's in YouTube? It's, it's in Facebook. Facebook, okay. Uh, I wanted to start, everybody was telling me, start a YouTube channel mainly yeah. because it's the art form. Uh, you know, you will get much more reach. But YouTube is like, you know, it's a great platform definitely to reach out to many more people in, in, who, who shares the similar interest. But there are so many of it. Yeah. Uh, and so why would you do it? Like, you know, yeah. I, I, there's no harm in doing no, it. No, no, definitely not. Definitely not. But I want to do it when I have all the perfect resources. Okay. In the sense like, see, now what I do is like I shoot it in my balcony mm -hmm. or in the park or anywhere of that sort. That's all I can do as of now. Okay. Uh, so when I'm actually ready with, you know, because in YouTube, you can see nobody is doing that way, not in a small way. It's so grand, you know, it's so grand. And so even if we are talented, definitely our hard work will pay off and people will view. But, you know, it, it's getting lost in between all that. Uh, so I'm working on it. So, so I guys, have that. I mean, I mean, she has a wow story like from helping her father like being a small mini entrepreneur at a very young age to being a health mentor to you know a classical trained dancer and do guys give her a shout out follow her page which is <laughs> Divya Shakti on Facebook you might be able to see her the other side of her like performing beautiful art. I've seen a couple of your videos and I really love it I think you posted on the group also you keep posting yeah, yeah I'm very much see I'm a uh, I, I have three passions yeah. that's my dance uh, marketing and jewelry okay. so that's why jewelry i started the boutique dance is always there and marketing is how i'm sitting on uh, be it traditional marketing or be it social media marketing now that is a social media marketing digital marketing is the trend i love that also because it's all about connecting with the people and every day there's something new in marketing so give it a shout out guys have you been like and you know assisting your dad at very young age or you also work somewhere on your own or you've been working no no it's okay. always my father <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you this question how is the work environment in UAE for women what do you think about it because you are an you know Dubai girl you're born and raised here so you know uh, especially because it's UAE we should not separate out women like that right. because this is a country which has respected and given a, such love and support to women you know from the beginning i am here for a very long time so and i'm very much comfortable being in dubai because it's so uh, i'm not getting actually the exact words to praise dubai enough in especially in that matter because uh, you Whenever you get inside the bus, there's a special place for women. When you get in the metro, there's a special place. And there's nobody to disrespect that. Uh, everybody follows the rules properly. <laughs> so it, it's like, uh, so when you say for women, I cannot think like, okay, it's something yes. separate. You have to think in that manner. Because even then, if, if suppose we are sitting to think, okay, what ha what is there for women? It's so huge. Yeah. I don't think, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I don't think any other country would be as supportive as how UAE has been because there are so many platforms. There are special, uh, certain special packages or, you know, schemes, especially for women. Yeah. And I, I agree. I mean, all the followers and viewers who have seen my previous episodes, we have guests also, they had the same thing to yeah. tell, you know, saying that Definitely. safety, you know, why is it separated? Women are so feeling so home. I think no one could agree more than that when it yes. comes to these kind of things, especially you and we love you for yeah, that. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, you have been an entrepreneur. I could put it in that way because you're doing a jewelry business. You've been assisting your dad. What made you shift to being an health mentor? Uh, it was really not my plan okay. because I am not a person who keeps health in mind. Okay. I was never a person who keeps health in mind. I like to eat. Like I, uh, yeah, of course. I love to eat. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a foodie, like yeah. anything, everything. I have specific food, but junk food, oily, fried. See, I have had acne for a very long time. And one thing everybody has been advising me is no, no oily, oily food. food. Yes, I remember telling you that. Yeah. As well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But 
but you know we we don't uh, care about the skin or the bulges okay. or anything else but we are more bothered about our tongue okay. which is which tastes very tasty then that's it so it was that that kind okay. uh, i have to tell you the story because i am sure most of the women you know when i say this actually when i explain two three uh, points they are like divya it's as if you're telling my story yeah. divya it's as if my so i i'm just explaining when uh i started gaining weight yeah. especially after my delivery mm -hmm. uh but my son is 6 years old now i cannot blame him okay. you know he is so uh, he's 6 years old now so but that's the time i started gaining weight i used to eat a lot and uh i am a what to say i stress eat also okay. i'm a person if i'm stressed i find comfort in food wish i could pinch you for that <laughs> <laughs> so seriously happy and it's yeah. i think somewhere it's comes down your stress also yeah, a little bit yeah. maybe it's just in our mind i don't know I, I, even i have no idea what it is it makes us feel good, good does it yeah. stay stays good and uh, and i was in a person who was bothered by the weight yeah. i'm like even if somebody tells oh my god you put on so much of weight you know uh, who cares? Uh, yeah <laughs> no who cares uh, and uh, to be honest one reason i didn't care was because uh, touch wood i have an amazing husband mm -hmm. who has never made me feel i do not look beautiful yeah. he tells me he remind you know like he always tells me you're beautiful mm -hmm. so if i'm beautiful to him then why should i bother <laughs> <laughs> changing for anybody else yeah. uh, so that was a that was one i would say you know i'm not uh, again blaming him mm -hmm. that because of him i didn't try to tone down but it was okay for me that was one i always had acne hair fall yeah. again i did get so many advices uh, you know you do this you do that uh, to be honest nothing used to work and i was not very much um, what to say faithful to the routines I, i was not very much faithful and then what happened is i just went for the routine check up with the guy yeah. she told me you have pcod okay. so uh, so then i understood so but because my menstruation cycle was regular mm -hmm. she told me don't take any pills yeah. uh, you don't have to take any medicine try to lose weight yeah. i was like okay no she is also telling me to try lose weight <laughs> uh, i was like okay fine uh, okay doctor i will i will try to yeah. lose weight and she like cut down sugar cut down dairy because i was not overweight uh so you cut down weight okay i started uh, so this was like maybe few months back mm -hmm. uh, like a year back probably and then i was like i uh, i noticed i'm dancing yeah. uh, i'm not eating so much yeah. okay what i eat i love to eat i eat but uh, not so much uh but still i noticed even if i starve the air i breathe is you know uh, being deposited as fats somewhere <laughs> or the other okay i noticed that because i will i will do this i will do that i'll go and stand on the scale it's it's not shifted only if it's gone the other side yeah. it's not gone down wow. so then i was like okay and then uh, still i was chilled yeah. i have a friend who is in the uk she's a doctor yeah. so she told me don't be so calm that you know because your cycle is fine you don't have to reduce your weight or you don't have to get your blood checked uh, every 3 months so i was like why no because pcu leads to diabetes yeah. i was like oh my god <laughs> that is like oh my god and i i have people in my family who is diabetic yeah, okay. and i'm only 32 so that was that was kind of a you know a knock a knock on my head okay. okay so diabetic i can't be i love sweets and uh, definitely if that happens now it will lead to other diseases yes. as well so i was like okay i have to i have to you know start working on myself then i started analyzing what is it that i'm eating what is it that i have to do i started exercising uh, you know like slow nothing i'm not expecting a miracle yes. like in a day or two that i have to you know lose weight uh, so and couple of months back actually on facebook itself there was one person who contacted me yeah. uh, she is a pcos survivor so she was actually associated with a brand mm -hmm. uh, for protein shakes and uh, supplements okay. and things like that so uh, as a normal south indian i should say or a normal malayali who is like very much skeptical on people who are there online because everybody is to cheat us <laughs> everybody is to you know everyone are uh, frauds everybody is to cheat us the same way but for good reasons because there are people who are there to scam and yeah, cheat yeah, yeah. uh so she told me why don't you try out you know these pr protein shakes why don't you you know 
have these supplements so i was like not very really sure yeah. especially it's something you're taking in yeah, correct, you know yeah. Uh, though she explained to me about the brand, I went and researched about the brand. It was fine. It was good. Then what happened is like I kept her on hold. Like yeah. I kept her in my list, and uh, there were so many other people who I, uh, you know, con like got connected to yeah. just in the same same circle. Yeah, yeah, same circle. Who's using those products? products who's yeah. doing? Uh, so I could see their improvements. Uh -huh. And uh, it is not just the shakes or capsules or anything of that sort. It's like. It's a family there, yeah. and each one is supporting each other. Oh, okay. okay, it's not like okay, I I lost two kg. Oh, really? It's not like that. Okay. It's like oh wow, girl, so so proud of you. I'm so waiting to yeah. you know. It's that kind of positivity in that group. So I wanted to be in that group because it's not pulling you down. Each okay. and every one is like so happy for you, so happy for you. That kind of a feel, uh, which to be honest, in certain societies, that's one point which is lacking. Okay. So everyone tries to pull you down. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They just can't. I don't know why. They just can't uh, stand to see somebody actually being well happy. happy. Being happy. You know, doing well. Uh, yeah. Like, but they're being happy for any reason. Yeah. If you're not doing well, so there are people who are happy. Yeah, correct. That's something. Like, look at her. She has nothing and still she's so happy. <laughs> so I know. Yeah. That's why. So this group, and then I've been following certain people. It's not just the things we eat. It's about leading a healthy lifestyle. Okay. Because when we actually get, you know, uh, connected to, to those products or to those items, um, we also get in hold of a whole lot of recipes, healthy yeah. recipes. So these things, sorry to interrupt. So yeah. these things happen during the pandemic. pandemic. Okay. Yes. So that's when you got connected and yeah. this group helped you in. I know. I was yeah. connected to the lady before. Time. Yeah. But I, I was not sure if I should try out the products. Okay. Uh, uh, so I was in touch with them and. Uh, so they, I could, yeah, I could see. Can... No, they are just posting. Oh, okay. You can see how what I'm doing. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm just posting. I'm yeah, not yeah, compelling okay, anybody, okay, okay, okay. and I'm posting my stories yeah. or my friends' stories. Okay. How, what, how, what have they been doing? And I make sure it's not that, not just the uh, products that we have yeah. in. We have to lead a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. You know, you have to exercise. You have to eat in time. Yes, time. 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 <laughs> eat on time have a lot of water, water. Uh, you have to because I'm a person I used to drink water only when I'm thirsty, thirsty. and being in under the air conditioner you hardly feel yeah, thirsty yeah, and I, as I said there are people who drink water you know keeping in mind their skin, skin yeah. their hair is all connected to this I, though I was not bothered yeah. so but then so I thought okay again so I started you know changes in my food habits yeah. Now my breakfast, I started having smoothies. I started, you know, lunch also. I'm having still rice, but I used to reduce. Like it was a slow oh, pace, uh, not just suddenly yeah. I stopped everything. But still, I noticed I'm not losing weight mm -hmm. because the smoothies, how much ever heavy smoothie I'm having, yeah. after two hours, I, again I feel hungry, hungry. Okay. because it's fruits and you know, like uh, just oats or whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, so I feel hungry. So then I spoke to this girl and she and you know she's like Vivia just try it out yeah. because it has tremendously helped me my PCOD is under control my acne you can see she showed me her pictures uh, uh, you know from within also you have to cleanse yourself yeah, otherwise yeah. it's not going to happen how, how much ever good products you apply outside inner portion should be cleansed, cleansed. yeah okay. it should be neat first and uh, so then I started using the products but I was very much adamant. I didn't. I was exercising, and I get bored very fast. Yeah. So, one exercise I do, the next day I don't like to do the same thing. Yeah. So I used to like try out and YouTube. We have YouTube. You should yeah. like make use of it, max. Yeah. You know. So I used to try out Bipasha Basu's uh, aerobic dance because <laughs> I was a dancer. I yeah. wanted to dance. Yeah. I like dance, uh, not Zumba. Yeah. For some reason, I was not able to do that. Because maybe the music or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I needed something, you know, like something really, nice. yeah, it was like it. And Bipasha Basu's workouts are really amazing. Yeah. I would highly recommend uh, to everyone <laughs> uh, who wants to lose weight try it out because it's fun. She's yes. smiling, she's laughing. You will not feel it as a workout. workout. If you really want to lose weight, just do that. You will feel like really yeah. energized because uh, not the cardio workout, a cardio workout or something else, <laughs> what she's doing. That also looks very easy. easy. But it's difficult when you do it in real time. Yeah, that's and probably you may be able to do it the first day, but 
by uh, night time you somewhere and all it starts aching you know so you will not be able to make out make her, which yeah. portion is paining so but i mean i mean guys like she has shared her story on you know being a health mentor what has helped her and like i have been telling this in all my vlogs i've told her also previously <laughs> that you know drink a lot of water cleanse yourself add a lot of nutrients to your food eat on time which i'm still struggling to do it so all these things could help you also you know from internally and you'll feel fresh about it she has given you some ideas on where to look at it youtube is a vast um, you know search engine you could go in and dig in for any kind of workout depending on how much you could take it how much you could leave it right so yeah, yeah, it can help you in different ways has helped her do uh, you know like her page and she has shared some amazing stories out there i think in you have that uh, is personal, on my personal, personal uh, uh, yeah, yeah. so don't send a friend request for personal <laughs> things but still i mean if you want to uh, you know look at her stories i'm sure with this you guys are might have got motivated and try to become healthy apart from being all these uh, skills that you have you know being a super woman is yeah. there any hidden skill that we must know that you have and maybe you have it in back of your mind have not explored it yet or something that you wanted to do but you have not done it No, nothing like that. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, the talents. See, as I said, when I understood, we can create opportunities for ourselves online here. Uh, I did everything what I could do. Yeah. Maybe, as you said, it's still hidden. Probably, yeah. it may come out maybe at a later time. Later time. Uh, but mainly, I I was just focusing on dance, dance. dance. Uh, I want to do dance. I want to be known for my dance. But in between, I have to tell this also because. Uh, I was not always like this yeah. who was so positive or optimistic uh so what I, is that turn that happened yeah uh, that <laughs> happened means like I'll tell you when I was 30 when I was 31 I'm 32 now this year I turned 32 um I was very much upset because I was highly ambitious I still am but I was highly ambitious in terms of job okay. you know like I wanted to work somewhere I wanted to work somewhere other than my father's yeah. uh, not because it's bad but that was a like as I said I was I'm a major in marketing and my uh, you know like it's limited in my dad's place so you wanted to explore it in a different yes. angle going yes. into a new exposure going yeah. to a new people yes. that you could learn something people could shout at you yes <laughs> yes oh yes <laughs> <laughs> so I was like highly ambitious yeah. and I wanted to do this because you know when school no I was not a top score or okay. anything and i thought okay probably when i get a job and i'll prove myself you know <laughs> that kind of uh, attitude because uh, i wasn't a very good uh, you know i was not very good in studies i was average but still i passed out with distinction i have to make that clear <laughs> i passed out in good marks and then i did my mba all that but you know i had this high passion for uh, marketing well, marketing you know and i so wanted that to that is probably a hidden skill No, it's not hidden. I'm showing it that uh, through <laughs> yeah, my. Yeah, but maybe you should be exploring more of it. You know, yeah. trying something. Yeah, yeah. That you is why. You never know. You could make money out of it. You know. Like I'm yeah. marketing myself. I yeah. created. I I'm being a brand myself. Yeah, so you, uh, there are a lot of things that you could do apart so, from that. You know. Yeah. So, so that that was a thing. Like so, I was uh, so. When do we get upset? Is like when our that expectation is not met. Yeah. You know, and I had some amazing friends, and even my sister. my mother everybody they tell you know when they understand that uh, this is bothering me just because that didn't happen divya you're upset yeah. but i but that was the huge thing which i wanted okay. you know the huge thing which i wanted and each birthday i will be like hmm, i'm 30 I am such a failure. I don't have anything. No, I do this. I do this. I was like this and I used to whine a lot to my some of my friends and they most some one some are actually away from me uh, because I've been that negative uh, and you know like I have so many blessings in life but still I'm stuck on to this one thing. And again, one year passed, 31. I turned 31. Same story. <laughs> I am a failure. I have not done anything in life, and that you know, like that kind of a thing happened. Then thirty-two, that is this June nineteenth. I was like, I don't want to whine anymore. I don't want to whine anymore. Uh, I think this COVID maybe had a lot to do with that. Uh, and I was like, I don't want to whine anymore. I want to just, I want to feel good. Yeah. So I took my husband. Maybe you come with me. <laughs> I took my husband. we just went to lamer and we just took a lot of photographs yeah. uh you know and he was so patient 
he also took from different angles, angles and he gave me i posted that not in expectation for anything totally. just i just posted to have fun that kind of people started asking what are you doing divya uh, you know it like they started uh, there were so many people in my friends list my friends yeah. I mean, you know, Facebook friends. Probably for ten years, you have not spoken to them. But when they <laughs> see something, yeah. they come up to you. So I was like, yeah. Oh, what happened? She's like, you, you look so different. You look so good. Yeah. And that's a time when I was starting to lose weight, which okay. I didn't realize. Okay. I was not checking my weight. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just I know that I was seventy kilos. Yeah. I know that. But I was not constantly checking yeah. my weight. Then I got this interest. You know, I dressing up. Uh, you know, uh, looking just nice. looking good. I used to do that when I was in college. Yeah. I used to be like that. I used to enjoy, uh, you know, dressing up. I used to dress well. I used to get a lot of compliments. Who doesn't like compliments? Of so course. So I'm, I'm sure that now when you're telling the story, a lot of them over there listening to this will be like, "Come on, Divya, you have you have been doing amazing. You, know? <laughs> you are like a classical train dancer. You have been assisting your dad. You have been doing a jewelry. You have been a health mentor." What else you need? Look at me. What am I doing? You know. Yeah. But then when they realize that, they might feel this might give you a kickstart to say, "Listen, I'm not a failure, or I'm not done anything. Let's do yeah, something." Yeah. No, because today, the, you know? then I was like, uh, "No, that thought came to me. I'm not a failure. Why? Why did I think like that?" And I had this one particular friend. I have to tell her name. Her name is Jishma. Uh, she just told me, "Today, why are you upset? You're seeing this." you want to be working in a position or you want that just imagine if you are in an office that's that's, that's the only thing that's going to happen correct you know this th these things what you're showing now your dance your uh, your confidence your uh, you know whatever it is who's going to know correct. nobody's going to know her those words uh, to be honest my um, sister my husband and all has told this to me before but the way she told it to me sometimes it's about someone yeah. know, that pushes you yeah sometimes your ears are very closed you will not listen yes. to what your people exactly. are saying exactly exactly love ones exactly. tell you but you might need someone you know is coming from outside yeah because you, even yeah. even uh, my friend my best friend's name is also divya yeah. <laughs> so she also tells me constantly why are you worried why are you worried divya you have so much more divya you have this that but still you know like but this this one's Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe I've already like moved on, and when she said it, just made sense. So I started, you know, like that day. Lamia also yeah. was asking me, "Ma'am, did you start modeling?" I was like, "No, <laughs> no." You know, my official photographer is my husband. Uh, the clothes are mine. It's not like very huge brands like Dolce or Dior or anything of that sort. But yes, confidence is mine. You know the way that I shows actually, and the engagement maybe you got you know pushed up, yeah. you know to reach to that yes. level of feeling happy for yourself. And I just started doing this. Uh, so many women came up to me asking, uh, not asking, saying, "How are you so confident?" I I really don't want to sound conceited or proud in that matter, but. they were i was like i'm not doing anything yeah. uh, you know like what i got dressed i pulled my husband uh, but now he bought me a selfie stick so that i can take <laughs> it myself but still you know it's 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 just you yourself you have to make up your mind you will always have reasons for not to do it Correct. i had my reasons not to do it because whatever opportunity came my way i'll be like no next time or i was scared to discuss it with my parents i was scared to discuss it with my husband because i am a person i want peace of mind the most so what if i say this and you know if he's a bit negative about it i'll be upset so i never used to try itself i never used to try asking him or uh, spoiling his peace but now you know when certain opportunities came there was a person who con contacted me she wants to you know she's a makeup artist she wants to you know uh, how can we collab so i was like yeah why not you know why I mean, not yeah i mean it actually so the, the the whole thing what she wanted to put out there the message is that you might also have a turning point it's just that you need to feel, feel yourself if, yes you know just feel yourself nobody you're... nobody is going to come behind you actually sometimes if you're that lucky you're that blessed you know opportunities will actually come right at your footstep, footstep yeah. but sometimes you really have to work for it 
for me it was a mix of both because i did post things like that i did i am con continuous then after few times i dressed up in certain manner i posted the pictures everyone is like god girl you lost lot of weight yeah, that's yeah. and one of my friends asked me how many kilos did you lose i didn't check i was like i have not checked and when i when i checked i lost almost 7 kg wow i didn't even know because <laughs> i enjoyed my journey yeah. i was not focused on losing weight i was focused on being healthy yeah you know i, I was not thinking i have to lose weight one kilo i used to do that before that's yeah. why probably i didn't lose weight yeah, also yeah. now i was i was focused on you know enjoying the food what i'm eating enjoy you know whatever it is i was enjoying the process that is very important because whatever you do you complain which i used to i learned from my own self i learned from my own mistakes and my character so my next question is that what is that message that you want to give out to all the ladies out there on your story on how you would motivate them what is that one thing that you want to tell to all the ladies out there what i would just say believe in yourself i would just say believe in yourself you you are no less than a superstar you have to be confident you have to love yourself be a little selfish in this matter there is no problem i agree <laughs> there is no problem in being selfish yeah. you definitely you will have many reasons you're married you have children you have a job you have a full time job you have to cook clean all this happens yes definitely and i have had help for that also yeah. that is why you know i am with my mother my mother is Uh, they're full time with me to help in whatever it is so i'm very much blessed yeah. and thankful uh, for my mother and my father and i have a supporting husband definitely they all play a important role but it starts from you okay. if you have thought i want to do this you can do this don't stop until you haven't done it okay. see now this this itself <laughs> you know like when she actually announced it i was like there was a contest did, did i actually apply did i register you know those kind of things yeah. ha- came into my mind but see when she actually did that i was like see i didn't do anything and people are actually recognizing me for my efforts it's not huge okay i'm not a celebrity i am not you know uh, something somebody like that i am just doing the normal things yeah. and i'm posting it people are seeing it people are being inspired by it every day every day i get a message even before coming to the to, uh, to for the shoot one of my friends said you are so inspiring i i'm seeing a post i'm trying to lose my weight i'm trying to be like you because i don't know somewhere people when they are a, a little more healthier side they lose confidence i don't know why like that there's no need for that all you have to be is you have to be healthy you don't have to hate yourself because you are a little more healthier i mean like a little more plumper than someone else you don't have to worry about that you have to be healthy get yourself checked every every uh, you know 3 months, months get yourself checked with you know for you should have a check up routine with your doctors you should be healthy that's the only point believe in yourself you can do it if i can do it anyone can do it so you that is it. yeah you know, that is the idea confidence in your sleeves walk it like it's like you, you you're know? a goddess yeah <laughs> you know i used to this be like, yeah you're a goddess yes. you believe in yourself yes it's like i used to think i'm a queen okay <laughs> then the next level i'm a goddess you know you have to think it that way nobody else is going to make you feel you have you to feel, feel your own so love yourself things will follow in your way we be keep, i've been keeping telling this and i'm sure that all the ladies who ever came in they all tell the same thing to you guys so don't lose your confidence if you love yourself things will come to you on your way So there we have fun segment of my show, which is the rapid fire questions. Not very, uh, you know, but a little bit fun. We we decided to do it after all that serious air on okay. in the show. Okay, <laughs> I'll try to make it as fun as possible. Yeah, it is fun. It is fun. I mean, there are a lot of things that we could yeah. learn. I'm sure that all my followers who are there watching, they might be, you know, relating it to you because this is this is the whole concept of the show yeah. to bring out stories of normal women. Yes, like women like me, like you, like anyone, you know, mm-hmm. that who has stories to share and inspire. So coming to the rapid fire I'll ask few questions you will answer it rapidly and then we'll see how fun it is going to be take out some more things from her okay. <laughs> okay three things you love about UAE the culture the people uh I know it sounds weird but I love the winters I love too 
I love the winters. I love winters. I am a summer baby. I think you are also summer. Yeah, June, baby. June, June. Oh June my God. July. So summer babies, uh, but still we love winters. <laughs> no, because the main reason here it's not too cold. Cold, yeah. yeah. You know, you can wear uh, you know your elegant it's frocks frock also <laughs> and uh, roam around. So it's that's amazing. Yeah. Weirdest thing that you have done ever. <laughs> Weirdest thing. <laughs> okay, if I say it, it'll not be very weird then. <laughs> no, I haven't done any weird thing. Uh, yeah, to be I honest, think, no, uh, no. Anything very crazy boring. that you have done? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Traditional attire or a Western attire? What would you? Traditional prefer? always. Traditional always. Okay. One thing you adore about yourself, and one thing you want to change about yourself. I procrastinate a lot. Okay. Uh, and that's something which I want to change, and I'm trying to change. Because I always keep it for the next, you know, like, okay, fine. even my husband tells, why is this lying over here? Yeah, fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's, you know, like, uh, that's something I, I have understood. I have, it's the worst part of me. Uh, and what did you ask? Best part. What you love, love about yourself or adore about yourself? I'm Divya Menon. I love that. <laughs> okay. Three things that you have learned during pandemic. Three things that I learned from the pandemic. Um, you have to take care of your health. Be compassionate okay. and be responsible. Very nice. So you have a son, six-year-old son, right? Yes. If you had a daughter, hmm. what would differently you would teach her that you're teaching to your son now? See, I have to first start with how what I'm teaching my son. Yeah. I teach him now itself to respect women. I make it a point, but he's seeing his uh, father, so it's okay. His father does respect mm -hmm. me, love me, takes care of me, so it's okay. But still, I make him do the household chores as well. Very nice. You know, like small, small things. Huh? Now people will think I'm making him do the jadu pocha and all <laughs> nothing like that. Like uh, after eat your food, go keep the plate, plate in the dish. But he does that. It's fine. It's okay. Only sometimes when he's cranky, you know, he doesn't, but he's okay. So if I had a daughter, the same things, huh? They have to take care of theirself. Now, now the whole thing has come, you know, like uh, why only girls should yeah, do and men shouldn't do. But yeah, girls do. Just be normal. So I don't know. The only thing would different I would do is like uh, dressing up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't. So if, you are, if you have a but girl. Let me ask you: Have you dressed up your son as a daughter? Girl, yeah. uh, when before the before he turned two, I used to do that, you know. But after that, he doesn't like. He's not <laughs> okay. a person. No, he doesn't I'm like. I'm sure all the mothers of the son over there, they all have experimented, you know, done this kind of thing. Yeah, because he had like very, you know, curls yeah. and he actually looked like a girl. He had like, he still have very good eyelashes. Yeah. I don't know from where he got it. You know, because I have, yeah, you have it as well. no, but he had like, it's very much prominent. And I used to put like uh, in our Malayalam household and all, we have that anklets, anklets thick yeah. ones, yeah. you know, like, uh, so whenever I used to take him out, <laughs> uh, so everybody is like, he's a girl, it's a girl, like that. So when they're like, oh, what's his name? I'll be like, uh, Vicky, Viknesh. Oh, it's a girl, you know that. But uh, it was only till year one. Like after year one, it was fine. fine. Yeah. Okay. So, one advice that you would give it out to women out there that they should never do in their life? Never compare your journey with anybody else. Never compare? Your, you put yourself in comparison. Yeah. Not yourself, your journey. Like... Okay, I have been working out why, you know, I have been working for 10 years. I'm not getting that. She just came into the office. I hear that yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. She right. just came. And uh, how did she get this? She, yeah. She's just this. No, never to compare yourself, your journey. No comparisons are required. So, if you have to choose one food to eat for the rest of the week, what it would be? No, I told you before. No, I am. I get bored very fast. Okay. So I it's need new, 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 new things. So food one week. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure the person standing behind the camera agrees this with me as well. She's like, this is my ma'am. You know? <laughs> so I, I also like to experiment a lot of yeah. food and we keep trying yes, things. And yes. then you see extra inches here and there. <laughs> Not only me, but the entire team is getting into that thing. <laughs> Actually, when I came inside, there was a smell of food, right? No, that is because of the restaurant. Oh, oh, oh yeah. okay, 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 okay. Good, good, good. Okay. So, your favorite pampering destination in UAE? Yeah. Blush and girls. <laughs> Thank of course. you so much. Now, this is the last question. Describe your host, that's me, in three words only. Beautiful, confident, 
and so, so imaginative. And I'm saying imaginative in the sense creative. Thank you so much. So thank you for all your compliments, Divya. I had fun doing this the same here. Uh, interview and I'm sure that you have motivated a lot of women out I really there. hope. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, the story that you have shared with them, I'm sure that they could relate it and they could understand like, there is nothing that you could compare. You don't have to feel bad about yourself. Don't complain. You know, be yourself. Yeah, there's yourself. actually one more point that I have to say. When you see somebody and you are inspired, don't shy away from, you know, following that like path. That. And don't think you're copying her. This is something I hear a lot. Yes. Nahu, you're copying her. You're competing with her. Yeah. Who? actually why are you bothered about that just because the two people are following the same interest they're going through the same path how are you in competition with her I don't believe in that I never liked competition when I was in school also my my mom and my sister used to you know, send me for competition because they her they are uh, logic and their thought process were like only then people will see you only then people <laughs> will know you and then when we don't get the prize you know they both will be like standing here and there and crucifying me you didn't, uh, you didn't put, uh, you know, you didn't sit properly. Your expression, you got tired. Ask me about the childhood. Let's not get there. We'll not tell you to ask about the childhood. True. No, but my point is yeah. this. Uh, if you, you see someone, because definitely you're looking at the people's stories, their, uh, their uh, journey and everything. You like it. You, you follow it. Add a twist to it. You know, a bit of be a little creative, be uh, imaginative. Add your own twist to it. Like there, don't think very, you're yeah, copying yeah, there's a very thin line between you know getting copied and following the same thing and doing it because some so many people have seen that you know they copy exactly the same thing it's like we say in Malayalam each a copy kind of thing you know mm. that they copy everything they forgot like what you're doing so like like what she rightly mentioned twist a bit twist add, add in your flavor, flavor. You yes know? add in add your, your flavor but there's no harm in doing no it. harm in doing that no Following harm, anyone. yes, no harm in complimenting others yeah, also. Correct. You like it, you like the persons. I make it a point. Every day I compliment at least one person. Yeah. Yes, that is my one of my daily routine. You know, it's, it's in my agenda. I compliment, I tell the person, you're beautiful. And it's not fake. Yeah. It's not fake. I feel genuinely it's beautiful. Because I know if I get a compliment, I feel so happy. You know, it might be the worst day. Yeah. But somebody says that, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, you look gorgeous, Divya. How are you doing it? You inspire me, Divya. I was like, oh, God, so nice. <laughs> so, guys, that was Divya Menon for you. Thank you so much, Divya, for joining in the show. And I'm so glad that you shared your story with my followers. In I hope that you guys have been motivated like I was motivated, you know, talking to her. And uh, if you have anyone else that you wanted to be a part of this show, if you have a friend, relative, sister, anyone that you want to nominate, please do message us. We would get in touch with you and you might be the next person on my show. So till then, thank you so much for all your love and for all that, uh, you know, care and all the messages that you have been sending. Thank you once again and take care. Goodbye and God bless. Lots of love.